So, when in doubt, try it again with a different style. In this case, I am try or have tried this setup again, but with different Optane chips. So, different Optane N NVMEs. So these are what are they? 111, 118 gig uh, gigabyte uh, Optane SSDs. Um, so they're not they're not as big as the Sabrents, but they it actually works well in this configuration. I was able to get everything to run. Um, uh, thoughts on this? Let's say better off going with uh, consumer grade in this case. Um, the right endurance isn't much to write home about. <laughs> well, I mean it's 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 on par with uh, you know fairly higher end consumer grade SSDs. Um, it, it works well. It works well. It's actually it's um, a this array actually writes uh, comparably to the Sabrents. And you'll see in the other video what I'm talking about, or the other part of this video, what I'm talking about. Um, but this does work, so this is a viable option. Um, and I'll list it, I'll list the part number in my description. But um, I guess if you're hard up for, <laughs> for uh, consumer-grade SSDs that are usable for what or what I'm trying to do um, then this would be an option but um, this is these aren't very big I mean you're looking at probably a total of uh, 440 gigabytes um, when everything's set up uh, with this configuration um, but it is doable and it does work so yeah all right so I uh, set this thing up again. I'm gonna make you watch the process, but you know I have two plots set up, two plots that I've completed. Um, I went ahead and set up um, some different Optane drives, and they worked beautifully. In fact, they are quite viable for something like this. So if you're trying to do, if you're trying to plot Chia and you want to use 128, you could do that, um, and it works. So I did I ran two plots, uh, one of them with uh, my new RTX A2000 12 gigabyte. And uh, that's a nice card. That is a nice card to use. And you don't need a separate power plug for it. And it's self-cooled. And it ran beautifully in my system. So, scrolling through all of this, you know, uh, let's see, you know, finished phase one at 151 seconds. Go all the way to the bottom here. And actually, right there, completed plot. 10.35 minutes, which is pretty damn respectable. So then I went ahead, I was like, well, let me just see if I could do, use my 3080, all right? So, GeForce RTX 3080, all right? Completed phase one in 180 seconds. Ran it through and it completed the plot in 10.36 minutes. So it was within margin of error. It's, there's almost no difference in speed. Um, so I think that's a pretty good result. And uh, just for giggles, I'm going to try running another plot again. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I need to be in pseudo for this, but. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, it's uh it's, it ran great. It ran great. So and uh that A two thousand card is a viable solution if you can't get a hold of something like a thirty eighty. Thirty sixty would probably do great with this. I think it would be on par. I really do. Um and you're not 
you, you're in a system that doesn't have extra power, like the GPU power, um, you could get away with using this card right here. And it, the Tesla P4 does work, but that thing gets stupid hot. So without modification, you're going to have major problems with that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the results there. So, yeah. Bye.